How's it going star seekers? My name's Luke. Welcome back to the channel and to yet another asset flip warning video where today we're going to be taking a look at a game that has been flipped not once, not twice, but three times within a two week period. Now first out of the gates was of course our old friend Pixar's who on the 30th of October released Earth Stunt Racing, a game where you apparently compete in high adrenaline races of 6 with boosters, riffles and power ups, whatever the fuck that means. Just a couple of days later good old Benjamin Kistler who was now renamed to Kistler Studios just to sound a little bit more professional published his game called Earth Racers, a game whose eShop description was a little better but of course completely packed to the eyeballs full of bullshit and finally we have a publisher known as Game Tree or Game Try, a new contender who's looking to swing with the big dicks here and they published Sky Racers just under two weeks later and their game description sounds more enticing than ever. The game is very immersive, engaging and fun, you will find yourself playing again and again all the time. Check out Sky Racers now and immerse yourself in the most exciting airplane race game ever. Well now those are big claims from the new kid on the block, so let's take a look at the game and see what it actually has to offer, but before we do I want to say a quick thanks to Jim Fish, Brett Peake and several others who brought these games to my attention. Now I don't usually buy and play the actual Switch versions of the games for these asset flip videos, firstly because I don't want to contribute towards these fuckers continuing to operate and secondly because being asset flips, these so called games usually contain nothing but the assets and there is usually a demo game available on the asset store page for me to grab some gameplay footage from and compare the Switch games against. Now you may be thinking, but Luke how can you compare an asset demo to a fully released title? And to that I would have to answer that these demo files are usually included in the purchased assets and the asset flippers are so fucking lazy and put so little skill, creativeness and passion into the games that they have supposedly developed that more often than not they actually just publish the demo files as fully fledged games without actually doing anything to them. Now to prove this point, today I made an exception and I went ahead and bought the cheapest of the three versions on the Switch, that being Game Tree's Sky Races which is on sale for £1.29. Now Sky Races is pretty much what you'd expect it to be from the eShop screenshots, a Mario Kart style racing game featuring planes instead of cars and as advertised it comes with three different game modes. The first of these being Championship mode where you have to compete in a series of increasingly difficult races against AI opponents, the second is an arcade mode in which you go up against five other racers and have to complete three laps of the track whilst utilising various power ups to take down your opponents and finally there's a time trial mode in which you race alone to complete laps as fast as possible. There's also a split screen versus mode which supports up to four players on the switch but having no friends I didn't even bother to test this out. Now the gameplay itself is ok, though the switch controls are overly sensitive making it a fucking nightmare to target enemies, but overall the game would pass as adequate if it were a title published in the PlayStation 1 era of games. Visually it looks reasonably shitty which is nothing new for the Switch, but the performance is decent for a change and the audio is just ok. Now if I knew nothing about asset flips or the likes of Kistler and Co, I would likely see this game on the eShop and think it's worth a punt for a couple of quid, but as you've no doubt already gathered, all of the games were actually created using the same asset, that being the airplane race creator available on the Unity Asset Store. Now this asset contains everything you need to create your very own racing game, including all of the code, prefabs, textures and game menus and as expected there's also a demo game available allowing you to try before you buy and this thing also comes included as part of the asset bundle. So now that you know about the asset pack and about the demo, let's go ahead and see just how similar this complete demo game is when compared against our three Switch games and as a point of note on this one I'll be primarily comparing the footage of Game Tree's Sky Races but I'll also compare the screenshots from the other two titles. So starting off at the main menu we have a bit of a palette swap and the music has been changed but everything else is more or less the same. 
Taking a look at the championship mode, we can see that both the demo and the Switch game have an identical set of events with nothing new added. And we also get our solo and split screen modes, which both have the arcade and time trial modes. Now each of these modes offers a choice of six tracks to race on and as you can see there's been no new tracks added in the Switch version and they're all identical to the demo game and an interesting fact about these six tracks is that they're actually all built from the same singular desert map with adjustments to the routes through them and the time of day. The race creation tool itself offers what appears to be an intuitive way to create your own routes and tracks but by the looks of things none of our asset flippers have actually bothered. Now before we go any further, I will say that PixArts have been wise enough not to include any of the menus in their screenshots, making them a little harder to compare, but Kistler is up to his usual standard, and we can see that he hasn't even bothered to switch up the menu visuals from the demo game's visuals. Now by completing races in the games you can earn points which can then be used to unlock new types of planes and if we compare the demo shop against the shop in the Switch version, as you can see they both contain an identical set of planes for you to unlock. Of course the textures in the Switch version look like someone wiped their ass on them and Game Tree have been creative enough to remove part of the names for a couple of them, but other than that all 8 of the planes have identical stats and visuals. You can see by the in-game screenshots of Kistler and Pixar's games that these also contain the same set of demo planes, though one thing that I did find interesting was the inclusion of a ninth plane in the screenshots for Kistler's game, though the game creation asset does contain the textures for a ninth plane not available in the demo game. Moving on to the tracks themselves then, as I said before, all 6 of the demo's tracks are included with a Switch game, and comparing the demo and Switch versions side by side, we can see that they're also all identical. Now the routes for each map can be seen in the minimap in the top right corner of the screen, and these match up to the tracks found in both the in-game footage of Game Tree's Sky Races, as well as the screenshot of both Kistler's and Pixar's games. As with the menu systems, we can see that Game Tree has gone that extra mile to change up the in-game user interface by giving it a lick of pain, but as expected, the other two haven't even bothered to do this. Now there's really very little else to actually say about these games. I think the comparisons that I've made have more than proved that all three of these publishers haven't even utilised the capabilities of the Airplane Race Creation tool and have instead just taken the demo game which comes bundled with it, giving it a lick of pain or not even bothered in two of the three cases and then published them on the Switch to make some quick cash, making sure to give the games a bit of a discount just to entice unwary consumers in. Alongside the trio of Hammer 2 assets flips, this marks the second time that Nintendo have allowed three identical asset flips to be published on the Switch eShop, but if you weren't already aware, this is only just the tip of the iceberg, and if you want to get a feel for just how big of an issue asset flips are becoming on the Switch, then you can take a look at a video that I published a few months back on the subject, which I'll leave a link for in the description box below. Now as always I'll continue to cover the topic of asset flips with videos like this, exposing these scumbag publishers for what they really are, and if you spot any new asset flips, feel free to leave a comment about them or drop into my discord server and let me know. Hopefully though, this video stayed you clear of all three of these games, and if it did, make sure to hit that like button to help promote this video, and if you want to really help in the fight against wankers like Kistler and Pixar's, feel free to share the video wherever you like. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with my latest asset flip warning videos, as well as reviews of actual Nintendo Switch games. Thank you all once again for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves and game on.